Joe Wiley, you're the queen of the Couch to 5K world. I messed up, girl, but this is how I'm going to get back on track. Mentally, I'm ready for it. Physically, probably not so. This is what I'm going to do. Today was really just to get back out, really focus my mind, go and recce the cycle tracks because, you know, we've had storms and it's been quite horrendous in terms of things falling. So I didn't really want to get down there and kind of break my neck. This is what I'm doing with my cane, checking to make sure that there's no branches that have fallen and also to make sure there's no other obstacles in my way. So when I run back the other way, I'm not going to trip up. Just before I carry on guys, if you've got any burning questions about running as a blind person or any other questions for that matter, put them in the comments below. I do read every single one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm always a little bit nervous and apprehensive walking along the cycle path because you're going to get cyclists, of course, but I'm really kind of like keen to make sure that people understand that just because I'm blind, it doesn't mean that I can't do anything. So I want to portray that positive image. I want to make sure that people can really do it if they try. And you know, so many people actually say to me, you can't do that as a blind person, but I want to prove them wrong. I want to say you can do it. You can achieve anything you set your mind to. As you can see, I follow along the cycle path rather than the pedestrianized path. And the reason I do this is because it's safer. Believe it or not though, I've had a cyclist actually scream at me, shout at me, swear at me, just for walking down here with my long cane. I mean, at what point does anyone think it's acceptable to shout at a blind person for simply walking or running in a cycle path? Okay, confession time. The reason I had a tiny weeny blip on the Couch to 5K program is because I went to Romania and I didn't want to run through the streets of Romania because the pavements are so unsafe over there. I didn't want to have an injury. What I'm going to do now is walk a bit, run a bit, just to get my lungs and my legs back into the swing of it. I'm not going to start at the beginning. I'm going to start off where I left off and that's week three. If you want to find out how I crack on with the Couch to 5K program, don't forget to subscribe. Joe Wally. I'm going to try harder. If you've got any future videos that you want to see here on this channel, put them in the comments below. It's absolutely freezing. I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. I'll see you later.